I had a song in my head since last night. And um, it was a cool ass song too, and it was smooth. But then, you know, I didn't ever did hook up any music or nothing to get the song out of my head, so I lost it. But I was just sitting here a minute ago, and I was watching the news, and they had some old fucked up shit about uh, they want to bail out somebody else now. So I said to myself, I had a song in my head was like, um, what's something like this? I ain't paying no taxes. And I ain't paying no bills because your stimulus package has been to me in my will. I ain't paying no taxes and I ain't paying no bills because the stimulus package don't make me feel real. I ain't paying no taxes and I ain't paying your bills because the stimulus package just way ain't too real. Some shit like that. It goes fast. Dun, 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 dun. I ain't paying your taxes. I ain't paying your bills. I <laughs> it was some shit like that. It was like it was like, but you had to have to see if, if anybody knows anything about music. When you have a song in your head, if you don't let it out, you lose it. Like the one last night, it was sick. It was like one of those love songs. It was smooth. I already got the music and everything for it. I was playing the music and the song just came in my head and I was singing and I was singing I'm singing I'm singing I'm singing I'm singing. I said, you know what? I got all the music equipment set up here. Let me just hook up a camera and do it. You got to get online in order to hook up the other camera. It has to be online in order to work. Some dumbass shit in order to download the newest driver. You buy some shit with a disc and you put it in the computer. And um then it just don't happen. But that song was bumping. That's the one I got in my head today. The one last night was even tighter. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. You have to be you have to know a little bit about music in order to just to understand what's going through my head. I ain't paying your taxes and I ain't paying your bills because your stimulus package just way ain't real real. Some shit like that, you know what I mean? It's like it's like you have to have that melody flowing. I ain't paying your taxes and I ain't paying your bills because your stimulus package don't make me feel real. I try to go to work, I try to go to church, I try to go to hell, but I don't got no bail. Uh, you know, you don't always have to rhyme when you have a song in your head. You know, but I ain't paying them taxes and I ain't paying no bills. Because your stimulus packet ain't enough for a hot meal. When I'm trying to live, I get all this drama and all this stress and strain ain't coming from my mama. Cause I ain't paying your taxes and I ain't paying your bills. Because your stimulus package just ain't real. You know, some shit like that. I mean, it's like. Bailing out auto workers, and I ain't got a job. You bailing out the auto workers, and I'm living like a snob. Didn't give the airline shit, and I ain't got a job. But you're bailing out the auto workers, and I'm living like a snob. You're bailing out them, and you're bailing out them. Don't give a damn about me, her, or even him. Cause you're bailing out the auto workers. And I ain't got no job. You're bailing out the auto workers. And I'm living like a snob. I mean slob. I mean slob. You get the point? They're bailing out the wrong people. I understand. These automakers. If they went over to Japan, I'm going to say it a million times, and sat there and asked them, can we have the engine that runs on water? Bring it back to America. Modify it to go into the pre-existing cars. That way, people who have these 
gas guzzlers can pull that old gas engine out, box it up, and sell that shit in China. Yeah. Sell those engines to people who gonna need them. Box all these engines up that we have in America that are running. Sell them to China. I said it. Bailing out the auto workers. And I can't eat. Bailing out the auto workers. Need shoes from the feet. Hey. Think, man. I said it in a million videos. You give the American people the money, the American people put the money in the bank. They go buy cars. You spending billions upon billions. Give the people the money. And they will line up like lemmings for the next thing you... Hey, everybody, we've given you all $300,000. Line up and get this probe stuck in your fucking arm so we can track you for another 500000 Then line up. Motherfuckers be having two of them in their arm. One on this side and one on that side. Get the money twice. Go back again, see if you can put it. Hey, put you, could you put it in my leg? I've never had one of these transplants. Put one in my leg. There be people walking around with nine transplants and shit. You think nine people are always around that person. Moral of the story is this, man. If you give the American people the money, the American people will put it back in the system. Like I said a million times, I'm not going to, you know, if the government gave me $700,000, because, hey, I'm just trying to do the math. They gave this group $700 billion. They want to give this next group $25 billion apiece. And how many auto workers are there in America? Three? That's $75 billion. They want to give the American people a $350 stimulus check. Come on, what the fuck's up with that bullshit? The fuck, man? If they would have shot the American people, I'm, I'm not lying. You give somebody 18 years old 50 G's in the bank to go to school. They don't go to school, they can get the money out in, in what, 18, they get the money out when they're 25. They don't go to school. And it grows interest in a bank. They can't touch it unless they go to school. And it goes to school. The money goes to the school. They get a free ride. You know, you give the next group, the 25-year-olds, who are already adults, 100000 for a small business, for education, for something else. Just give it to them. Give it to them! Then the next group, the 35-year-olds, you give them $200,000. What are they going to do with it? A lot of people going to spend that shit back into the economy. The next group, the 40-year-olds. Give them $300,000. And that's it. Everybody else get the same $300,000. But, you, you know, if it's two people in the household, husband and wife, a joint $500,000. Come on, man. These people going to run to put the money in the bank. I'd be goddamn if I had $500,000 in the house in my neighborhood. Fuck that. People going to put the money in the bank. Then the banks have the money. Then people going to go out and get a car. Then all those people got the money. Then people going to pay their mortgages off and open up small businesses. Then America grows. How fucking simple can it be? Oh, it's real simple to give the automakers millions of dollars. The next thing you know, the oil people are going to need money. Our, our refineries are old and outdated. We need to boost the oil industry. They need new factories. The fuck's next? You're not going to bail out the supermarkets because the supermarkets take care of the people. You're not going to bail out the clothing floors and shit like that. You're bailing out your friends. You're bailing out friends of friends. That's my song for Obama. It's the drama of the real man. Give the American people the money so we can put it back in the system. Because you sticking the money in the system is sticking it to us, bending us at our will. You've been too.